Hi everybody, it's Kathy here from Kathy Loves This Craft and I'm coming to you from the land down under today and it is the third Thursday of the month so that means it's pour your way into our heart today and we are scrapping along in this hop for our pets and look isn't she beautiful this is our little girl Ivy and this is the layout that I've done today so I have got my photos and I have a double here because I'm actually going to fussy cut one of her out and pop it up I have these great uh, colour cutouts from Scrapbook Fantasies. They're the dog ones and a flower and also a double heart from the chipboard range at Scrapbook Fantasies. And these photos I took of Ivy just the other day when she was at least letting me take photos of her. She doesn't like the camera very much. She's very camera shy, which is funny. I have some scraps here that I'm going to incorporate into the layout and I have this beautiful piece of paper here, um, which is a Kaiser Craft paper. I'm going to use the back of this one, this is a B-side paper, and the same with this one, this is a new Kaiser Craft range. This one it says, um, it's called Fur, Furry Friends, so yeah, the Friends Forever, that's the range, the Fur, Friends Forever, and it's a brand new one, and I'm going to use the gingham side on the back. Uh, well, the plaid side really, and I of course need my cardstock for my framing, which I use to help stabilize, but I also use the innards to frame my photos and also sometimes cut titles or die cuts so the paper that I cut out from the center doesn't go to waste. And I just got this scorched timber um, ink the other day and I am in love. I think it is the best. I think it's going to become a very, very popular go-to for me. So I'm inking up the edges just to lift it up off the page and give it some definition and I like um, anything with a circle. I just think a circle is great and so therefore um, I've suddenly got on a circle bandwagon and some of my layouts lately have just been focused around the circle. So sorry about that but I do like a circle on a layout. Um, I'm fussy cutting around Ivy as I said because I'm actually going to get her to pop up out of the uh, page which is really cute um, and just an idea I've been seeing on a lot of pages and I thought I'd give it a go and she was perfect in this one and I was able to do so. I'm cutting down um, two pieces to add as some backing and on the back of that uh, circle paper there were tags and I'm creating this tag here to put my journaling on. All right so I've tied some jute around the tag and I've also added a little charm that says love. Uh, it's a, I heard Scrappy Adam say one day that you shouldn't leave tags naked so ever since then I've been putting a ribbon and tag or fibre into my tags, which is really funny because at other times it didn't bother me, but now I have that in the back of my head and I just keep thinking about it. I'm just um, inking up the edges here and you see that I've just reversed that one because I was going to have both blue up, but I thought, no, I'll put the stripes in behind that top one and the blue down the bottom and that just adds up a little bit more um, texture and colour to the layout. As you can see, I'm just um, making sure that they overlap in the right spots. And because I'm popping Ivy up, it doesn't matter that I cover her a little bit with this photo because the popped up picture of Ivy will cover that corner <clears throat> with her ear and it'll make her stand out even more. So she is a Chihuahua crossed mini fox and she is beautiful. And we got her during COVID for my daughter who was suffering big time and needed something and Ivy was a bit of a godsend and she's now so much part of the family that everybody just like idolizes her and she just is so good she loves everybody she's not an outdoor dog she's never been outdoors she lives indoors um, she's very well trained she's a good little girl and <laughs> she keeps us very happy and amused so I'm just cutting in some fish savannas here, which I'm going to add on to the layout. And originally I thought I would tuck them down underneath, but as I look at it, it's very bottom heavy. So I thought I would reverse it and bring it up to the top. And also that just helps me anchor my um, embellishments later so that, that it has some an anchor point. And it's adding that darker texture to the top, drawing eye back up to the top of the page instead of all down to the bottom corner. I realised that down underneath the ivy over there, I need another anchor point if I'm going to put in some more uh, embellishments, which I intend to. 
and that is where I have my three anchor points, therefore setting up my three um, eye cluster points. So I've got this big flower and I absolutely love this flower. Uh, it was from Scrapbook Fantasies as well and I'm just adding it in and of course she is a girl even though it's all in the blues. Um, it, she is a little girl. I'm adding in these paw prints so I think they're very cute um, and I like that they've got the raw hide bones that she eats as a treat so I'm going to put those around the page as well and I'm pulling out these cute little words um, from these colours collectibles and they're very 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 cute. Now I fussed with this heart a bit and I apologise but I eventually settled on putting it down there in that bottom cluster. So I have my three words with the raw hide bones um, and that's very cute because she is cute and lovable and then I use the branding strip off that uh, plaid paper and it says you are my forever friend and she is our forever friend um, she yeah she she is very 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 special uh, so I'm putting de these down and I and I do glue these ones down because I don't want them to pop off um, because I have the raised picture of her and so they're down flat now using the rest I'm using that scorch timber again and I'm going and I color those hearts so that it all ties in and using the remainder part of that branding strip I'm adding the little paw prints into three strategic places to build um, the clusters up a little bit more but also to draw your eye around the page and balance the colouring so that I have the browns as well as the blues blending complementary to each other and that's how I uh, manage to keep the balance by making sure that my colours are even around the layout. So I've used these pops of colour and they are silver so I've got a bit of sparkle added to my page and of course it's not a page without me doodling a border I wasn't going to but I just couldn't help it I just had to finish it off with a faux stitching border because it just didn't look complete to me I'm sure other people would just leave it as it was but I just needed to add the border to add it in and make it that just complete for me so there you go there's my layout for this uh, hop um, it's very simple it's not that hard to complete a circle and basically some strips of paper but it all came together beautifully and the colors just match the photos so perfectly so that they pop and that's the key to making your photos pop I believe is matching your papers to the colors that are in the photos and there you go there it's my still from outside you can see the natural real colors of it there that's in the sunlight so thank you for looking um, there is a hop happening I have all the details in the description below of the playlist all the girls playing along please go along and leave them some love if there's anything here that you want to find out about or anything here that you like and would like to use by all means go ahead and do so message me let give me a note if you want to learn something new or I haven't explained something enough Please let me know feedback is always great i am always on the way to improve and look at her popped up there isn't she a cutie that who wouldn't love that face i'm kathy here from kathy loves to scrap and i really appreciate your time if you liked something give me a thumbs up it lets youtube know you want to see more of my content thanks to my subscribers for returning and if you haven't already done so hit that subscribe button it costs you nothing leave me a comment and i will get back to you i love the feedback it's very helpful Remember, you can find me on all my socials under Kathy Loves Scrap, including Instagram, where everything ends up, even that without a video. And I am so appreciative of you giving up your time today. Thank you so much. Happy scrapping. Until next time.